Hey boaters, welcome back to Boat Show TV presented by the Florida Power Boat Club. Stu Jones here as we launch episode number four of our new series which features the highlights from all of the major Florida boat shows, covering the latest in mainstream boats and marine products, including cruising, fishing, power boats, water sports, and yachting. This episode, we visit the world famous Miami International Boat Show, which takes place in the Magic City every February when ice and snow covers most of the nation. Brrr. We've got nine manufacturers to feature, so hold the handrail firmly, it's showtime. We're kicking off our Miami Boat Show coverage at Belzona. Here's Boat Show TV co-host Don Mull with the latest on these beautiful boats. We're here at the Bellazona booth with Miss Captain Kelly. Kelly, tell us about the Bellzona boat. Well, the Bellzona boat is a great fishing boat, has great options. Tell me about these options. Well, it has over 300 miles cruising range, so it's great to go to the reefs, great to go to the lighthouse. Now, what about the live well capacity? How big is your live well capacity well, you in this boat? Well, you have three different options for your live well. You have two 30-gallon live wells that you can put on the transom, but you also have an option for a pressurized 60-gallon tournament-style live well that you can get in our tournament fishing package. Well, that's the one I want, okay? <laughs> now, tell me about the door. I think I've looked at every boat, and I have never seen such a great side door on a boat is this one right here. Well, the sliding, easy opening sliding door is actually patented, so you won't find it on any other boat company available in today's market. It opens 40 inches. Um, you can get it starboard or port. You do have the option to get the boat with no doors, but why would you want a boat with no doors if you can have a sliding gunnel door? I've seen them. I've seen the Bellazona with doors on both sides. Yes. Is that is that was that my imagination? No, you can get the sliding doors on both sides if you want. I see the out Outriggers, I, I see the rod holders, stainless, done nice. Yeah, you, know, you can get as many rod holders as you want. You can get them on the transom, you can get them on the hard top, and you also have the option to get rod holders throughout the boat, all on the sides. As many as you want, we'll put them in there. I'd like to know who came up with the idea for the uh, enclosed uh, bridge there. Well, we have a great um, designer. His name is Carl Bowler. He's been in the industry for years, and he came out of retirement to do this last major project of his. And as you can see, it's just wonderful. It's a beauty. Up next, we stopped by to check out Hydra Sports' new custom line of boats. I'm here with Elias from Hydra Sports and Plantation Key. Hello, Elias. Tell us what's going on. All right. Well, we're here at the uh, 2014 Miami Boat Show, and we've got our new Hydra, Hydra Sport custom display. You know, this is our second year owning the company and uh, we're trying to show the public what we're all about. And we got a bunch of new models here and as you can see in the background. Hydroport Custom allows you to do multiple different things. You know, I'm a hot rod guy and, and a car guy and here I've bought a boat into the boating industry where you can do a lot of fishing with it and then you got the amenities and the nice finish work which you get in a hot rod or an offshore power boat. Well, I gotta tell you, the fit and finish on these boats are bar none. It's absolutely, they're, they're gorgeous. They, they're functional. Um, I love the, the twin power poles. And what we try to do is try to build all the boats unique. You know, as you can see, I might build a 42, a big green one like you have behind us, and I make a little one behind us right over here to, you know, to match the bigger boat. Well, in, in, in the fishing industry, you got to have both, an offshore and an inshore boat, and you've got a perfect marriage here. Yes, we do. You've built this beautiful Camaro to match all your Hydra Sport boats behind us. Tell me what you got going on here. Well, it's, it's, it's our passion, you know. What I've always done is I've drag race and I'm a big power boater. And I also build cards and I like to be able to show everybody, you know, the passion that drove me building the boats. As you can see back here, I've been building this car for about four or five years and this is what I was able to create. And I tried to take a little bit of that into the boat building. Well, you've done a fabulous job of what you've got here. I mean, the attention to detail is bar none. I have not in my life seen a car that has been done this nice. You said it was one off? Yeah, one off. I mean, every single little thing is attention to detail, exactly how our boats are built. Boat Show TV will be right back with our coverage of the Miami Boat Show, presented by the National Marine Manufacturers Association and Progressive Insurance. Don't go away. 
Nautical Ventures Marine Superstore wants you to get on the water. Check out our new 30,000 square foot waterfront showroom on over three acres, featuring power boats, fishing boats, pontoon boats, hovercrafts, tenders, kayaks, and SUPs. Get 20% off select items during our grand opening sale. Register to win a Hobie kayak, Riviera SUP, GoPro camera, and more. Nautical Ventures, the go-to people for fun on the water. Take Sterling Road east of I-95, go left on South Bryan Road. Get, get on, on the water. water. BoatsDirectUSA.com is your Florida Keys connection for the best prices on beautiful new boats, used boats, and quality service for your existing boat. You will save thousands on new boat brands like Contender, Blackwater, Deep Impact, Statement, and Oceanhawk, as we are the exclusive dealer. At BoatsDirectUSA.com, you will choose from the largest and nicest selection of quality pre-owned boats, too. Over 70 boats in stock. Financing is available. Just log on to BoatsDirectUSA.com com now to get pre-approved trade-ins are welcome so trade up into your dream boat at boatsdirectusa.com mile marker 98 in the middle key largo need service on your existing boat we have full-time certified yamaha mercury and mercury Verado technicians on site and we are your authorized parts dealer call today to learn more about our 100 hour services and general repair work at boatsdirectusa.com welcome back to boat show tv up next, our crew caught up with Statement Marine at their in-water display to check out the latest in the expanding crossover category. Stop by to say hi to Nick Buis from Statement Marine. They've got four boats here at the in-water show at Sea Isle. Uh, Nick, this beautiful 380 that we're sitting on and a 350. Talk about these two boats for us. The 380, this is our Cuddy Cabin version. It's got the triple 300 Mercury Verados on it. Um, side door uh, loaded out with electronics, stereo, underwater lights, and lots of LED stuff. Um, 35, it's a new one we just came out with. It's colors that we coordinated for, for uh, sale down in the Keys. Uh, it's got the rear bench seat in it, twin 300 Verados, electronics, uh, real nice day boat. Uh, very nice fit and finish as always. Uh, you've got this uh, this new this new decking, what is it called? Sea deck, it's a new flooring that uh, originally originated from surfboards and stuff. And we've been able to multiple color it, uh, do different designs and stuff like that. And real nice, very soft, doesn't get hot, long life. You know, the thing uh, also, Nick, about these boats, obviously they're being finished, custom finished uh, to a buyer specifications usually, but uh, uh, but they're beautiful and they're luxurious and it's not really a fishing boat, although it's built in a fishing style boat center console. It's more of a cruising boat uh, for people that want to go a little faster, they want to bring their friends and certainly a boat you could take on a poker run event too. We wanted something that was kind of a crossover, Stu. Um, the way I look at it, something to, the gentleman can get on Friday morning early with his buddies, run out and maybe do a little fishing, come back, throw their stuff on the dock, throw the family on and go out to the island for the day. Um, kind of, a, again, a, a crossover boat. Uh, very entertaining, open, spacious areas for, for hanging out, stuff like that. Everybody seems the biggest thing people want is nice stereos for the entertaining. This has all the audio pipe equipment in it. Um, got multiple subs, many amplifiers, and you know, it's good for making the dock party happen. Your dealer for this particular brand or for South Florida is Boats Direct USA. Up next, Boat Show TV highlights the deep impact brand of center console boats. We're here today at the Deep Impact booth with my new friend Juno. Juno, tell us about this brand new 36 Deep Impact. Well, hello, Don. This here is our 36 Open. Here in the stern of the boat, we have three triple Mercury engines here. Um, we also have two dual live wells on this boat. You have your helm seatings here. We have an enclosed head in the bow of the boat. We have a custom fiberglass T-top with your rod holders. We have several rod rod holes as well. We have pop-up cleats. Uh, you have four to 20 speakers. Um, this boat here is not just for your fishermen. It's also a luxury boat and uh, it's good for recreational use. Uh, so that there ever comes a time that you do want to sell the boat, you can keep those live wells because now 
you reach out to a different market, such as the fishermen and the people who like to have a good luxury boat. With the Trip 300 Verados, there's a lot of power back there, so we got our Latham tie bars putting everything together. I am very fortunate to have owned a few of these in the past, and I can't tell you how nice of a boat this is. Here's a great shot from one of our Florida Power Boat Club events, showing two deep impacts running nicely together. That's a triple Yamaha-powered 36-footer in the foreground. In back, we have Mark and Eileen Fisher's BoatsDirect.com boat. This new 39-footer is powered by four Mercury Verados and features Deep Impact's signature multi-step hull design. It's time to step out of the mainstream a bit and explore the ultra high speed world of Mystic Power Boats. Uh, we always want to give you guys a little taste of what it's like to live in the high performance boating world. And if that's what you want to do, you need to know this guy, John Kosker from Mystic Power Boats. John, uh, you build the most incredible, awesome offshore racing machines and poker run machines. Tell us about this green monster behind us. Oh, thank you, Stu. This is our latest uh, 50 offshore race boat. Um, it's actually 51 feet long. We stretched the boat a little bit and built exactly to the customer specs. Um, it's going to have a pair of 1500 horsepower Herbie Stotler engines in it. Top out somewhere 180s, 190s, somewhere like that. Um, you know, very powerful, but he can use it for racing as well as pleasure boating if he wants to. Of course, uh, Mystic Power Boats also makes recreational power boats for doing poker runs and such. But uh, and there's another accolade that you have we haven't uh, told our viewers about, and that is that. Last year at a shootout in uh, Missouri, uh, a Mystic powerboat powered by, I believe, turbine engines. Mm -hmm. What happened out there? Yeah, we had uh, Bill Tomlinson's boat, um, one of our 50 footers with a pair of Chinook helicopter engines in it, about 3,000 horsepower each. Um, the shootout format is you start at a, a, a one boat at about 40 miles an hour, and then you have one mile course. Yes. At the end of that mile course, there's a radar gun array, and they clock bill at 224 miles an hour in that one mile. Setting a record uh, for the shootout, no doubt, and probably one that's going to take a long time to beat. Boat Show TV's coverage of the Miami Boat Show will be right back. Don't go away. Hey, wait a minute. I know that face. It's not your everyday face, but I know it. It's a face of joy, of calm, a face of exhilaration, even surprise. Oh, I know where I've seen that face. Welcome to the water. Step into boating with our free DVD at discoverboating.com. Hey boaters, if you enjoy performance boating and fun in the sun, Florida Power Boat Club has everything you need. We plan the best events and get you there safely to the hottest boating destinations in Florida. But you don't have to own a boat to enjoy the lifestyle. Social membership starts at just 69 bucks and includes the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, FPCT, exciting DVDs, and our great parties. Call our Pompano Beach headquarters, like us on Facebook, or visit flpowerboat.com. It's time to get in on the fun. same boat, but out on the water, we're all on the same wavelength, in the Florida Keys and Key West. Welcome back to Boat Show TV's coverage of the Miami International Boat Show, presented by the National Marine Manufacturers Association and Progressive Insurance. Our next stop was at Invincible Boats. I'm here with Captain Chip Sheehan at the Invincible booth. Uh, this is a 42 Invincible that we're on here. Uh, we're gonna go over some, some of the features and benefits of the boat and check it out. What's the beam on this one? Uh, this boat here is 11.7. Uh, it holds 600 gallons of gas. Uh, it's a little over 42 feet long. It, it's absolutely beautiful. Tell yeah. me more. Just the, the, the way the boat's put together from the, you know, to the bow to the stern, the, the way the, the quality of the boxes, uh, the installation from the, the, the grade of stainless steel that we use to the way the, the fiberglass that we use and the way the boat's finished, it, it you know, makes it a really nice boat. Okay, I'm counting a little over 40 rod holders. 
Yeah. Two big Garmin's and four Ferrados. I like that. That's the nicest, I'm, I'm a Mercury that's guy. That's the nicest you know. thing is about this this particular Invincible is, is the Verados. Yeah. You know, they're great motors and, you know, couldn't be more happy with them myself. Well, um, tell me about your coffin box. I mean, can, can you and I get down inside that coffin box in this boat? Yeah, well, this, this particular boat doesn't have a coffin box on it. Um, it's an option. Uh, it has a fish box in, in the in the deck, and then you have a coffin box that's on top of it that normally hydraulically opens with a button up underneath the gunnel, so you can you can store fish. Both of them are insulated. You can store fish underneath or in, in the coffin box itself. Good, good, good. Now I see I see that there's tackle center inside the uh, in, inside the console here and stuff. Tell me tell me about that. You have tackle station. You have tackle storage on both sides. It's lockable, so when you're in the islands, you can lock your tackle up. Um, you have a nice cooler here and a cooler up front as well that's, that's insulated. This, this cooler here will keep ice for five or six days. Um, it's, it's, a, you know, it's insulated very well. All right. Now, what were you saying about those live wells? What is that special thing you got going on here? Well, the one thing, this is a step-tall boat. It was born as a step-tall from the ground up. It was designed by Michael Peters. And uh, with, with the, the way our live wells are built and the, 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 the amount of workmanship and design that we put into them, you know, it, has a, it has a huge live well on the floor, a huge live well on the transom, and it, it's built with pump boxes. So, you know, water flows into the pump boxes and then flows into the live wells. It's time to introduce Boat Show TV co-host, Captain Richard Murray, our Boat Show TV yachting specialist. Captain Murray stopped by to talk to the folks at Bertram about the latest changes to the venerable Bertram line. All right, I'm here at the Bertram Yacht Display with the Vice President of Sales, Mr. Don Jones. Don, I understand that the 64 has gone through some exciting changes from some of her previous models. Tell me about a few of those, please. Well, Rich, the uh big change is the shear line. We've gotten away from the step shear and uh, done a more of an S-curve type uh, flowing uh, line yeah, from beautiful. fore to aft. And we've changed the window line on the boat. We've added 19 inches to the front of the, uh, of the window. We put it more parallel to the water line so it makes the boat look more sleek. Uh, it has new uh, uh, engine vents on the sides to uh, add to that sleekness. And as you can see on the uh, side of the hull, we do have a large window in the master stateroom and the VIP stateroom on the side of the hull. That's a lot of light in. A you, lot of light. You'd also mentioned some changes in the running surface and specifically the tunnels. Tell me about how the tunnels have changed. Well, in the aft uh, of the boat where you have the propeller pockets or tunnels, uh, we've smoothed those out, uh, changed some characteristics of the water flow in the uh, indents of the, uh, in, in the hull to make it uh, better at close quarter handling. Uh, when you hit the throttle left and right, especially in a fishing situation, the boat moves much more quickly towards the fish or in a docking situation, uh, makes it much more maneuverable. That sounds great. What about anything on the interior? What, what updates have been done to the interior of this boat? Well, inside, uh, we, we've done some improvements on the, uh, the galley arrangement. We can get three refrigerators, freezers in the galley today. We've added some extra rod storage in the uh, salon area. We've done uh, uh, additions of uh, behind mirrors uh, of the TVs. So the TVs aren't off the wall now, they're behind mirrors. Sounds great. Uh, and so it, it adds to the convenience of getting around the bed and, and adds to the rooms. Revy, there was one more point that I saw when I toured the boat that I loved. Tell me a little bit about that fish box. Oh, uh, in, the, in the aft and the cockpit, we've uh, changed the total fish box arrangement. Uh, the, there's two fish boxes now and one going port ship at the transom. And the fish boxes running fore and aft can now be separated. They can be, uh, when I say separated, they can, they can have separation inside for actual storage. It can be dry storage, or it can be a macerated uh, fish box, or it can be an ice box to put drinks. We'll be right back with more Boat Show TV from the Miami Boat Show. Don't go away. What's before you? Is it the catch of a lifetime? A moment of courage? Or the thrill of being captain? For over 75 years, Mercury Marine has delivered countless boating experiences. Join us as we continue our adventures and power yours. 
With Mercury behind you, the world is before you. What's the attraction at Tilted Kilt Pub in Italy? It's more than our 30 draft and bottle beers. Or our mouth-watering menu. It's the best-looking sports pub you've ever seen. Tilted Kilt Pub in Italy. A cold beer never looks so good. Welcome back to Boat Show TV's coverage of the 2014 Progressive Insurance Miami Boat Show. Up next, we talk to the Liquid Fire Fishing Team about their custom Intrepid fishing boat. Captain Mark on in the Intrepid booth. Captain Mark, tell me what's going on with this new 37.5. You know, Don, this is an amazing boat that at that Intrepid, uh, with the semi-custom product that they provide, has absolutely hit a home run with this fishing machine that is like nothing else that we've ever had the opportunity to fish. We're so pleased with this. This is our second one of these things. And man, you could not find a better product on the market than what they've done with this Intrepid 375 Tournament Edition Center Console Open. It's well, unreal. Well, I'm looking at the fit and finish. I'm also looking at your rod holders and how many there are and where they are located in the boat. I know a little bit about fishing, but I got to tell you, this is absolutely an outstanding boat. What's amazing, we've got 29 on the gunnel rod holders that are made by a company called Mate Series Custom uh, or Combination Rod and Cup Holders. Uh, all stainless, many different options there with oval, round, no bolt through, um, hidden, all that kind of stuff. So it's an awesome product that you can get through Intrepid Power Boats. Um, the live well systems that Intrepid created on this boat is it's a sea chest system that has two, one in the floor that's 55 gallons, one in the Vision Helm seat that's an 80 gallon live well. It is, uh, is absolutely amazing when it comes to keeping uh, your bait fresh. Rounding out our show for this week, Stu stopped by to chat with our friends at Ocean LED about their new customizable colored LEDs. Zach Savage at Ocean LED. Uh, we've had a great relationship with Ocean LED for the Florida Powerboat Club, but for you guys there on Boat Show TV, uh, we want to tell you this is one of the finest underwater lights that you could ever purchase uh, for many, many reasons, but I'll let the boss tell you that. Zach, what have we got new at the show? Well, basically, Stu, we've got the new range of amphibian lights, which have been our you know, light we've had for many years and been a great success for us. Sure. These are the new updates, the new amphibian extremes. Right basically three or four times brighter than their predecessors, yes. coming down in cost and also full color change. Good. So I don't want to blind you right here, but uh, yeah, sure. this for Go instance ahead. is our new A16 Extreme Pro. It comes in full color change of nine different colors. Wow. You turn it on, it will scroll through the nine different colors. When you get to the color you want, you turn it off, turn it back on again straight away and it will stay on that color. Okay. So now on a simple 12 or 24 volt system with just a two wire setup, you yep. can have a full color change system to match the colors on your boat. What are we showing here? Different bezels, different uh, rings? Every light comes as a standard. It's a fully polycarbonate fixture as it was before, so indestructible, and now comes with interchangeable bezels. Yes. You have a full 316 stainless steel bezel, which can right. go on the top. So if you have all that nice stainless hardware, it can match the, when the boat's out of the water. Yes. Or you can have a white or a black bezel. We've got uh, we've got five lights. We've got four lights. We've got eight lights. What have we got? Different exactly. Things? So anything to range suit the type of boat and the budget for your boat. You go for four, eight, and sixteen. I see. So pricing down on the A4 starts at 179, right? The up to 12.99 for the full color change. Not everyone wants to go for full color change, so we have this light in full single color right there, which is now one of the brightest lights that you can buy for this kind of uh, for that kind of money. There you have it. You can go on the website at OceanLED.com and they actually have demo videos uh, which show you how to do the installation and uh, to make sure you do it properly. But it's an easy installation. You don't have to do it at the original equipment. At the, you don't have to do it when the boat is built. You can do it as an afterfit or a retrofit, whatever. It, it works great. Click the button on Quick Quote, send in a picture of your boat, your name and address, and we can quote you out which lights are best for your boat and how much it will cost you to install. There you have it. Ocean LED. Thank you, Zach. Thanks for watching Boat Show TV. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the Progressive Insurance Miami International Boat Show. On our next show, you'll see continued coverage of the Miami Boat Show 
and maybe even a sneak peek at some of the amazing yachts at the Miami Yacht and Brokerage Show. You won't want to miss it. We'll see you next time on Boat Show TV.